This is an examination of the hidden human condition. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. Dr. John Delatore is with us, licensed psychologist, and Rex Hewerman is what we're focusing on in this segment. I want to talk about the wife of Rex, Asa, a little bit and some observations that have been made over the last couple of weeks. And obviously everyone deals with grief and this sort of trauma differently. They're dealing with it in their own way. But there has been some speculation and comments made about her seeming lack of empathy for anyone else other than herself, quite frankly, where there hasn't been any statement of sorrow or empathy for the victims that her husband is accused of murdering. It's been complaining about the house. It's been asking for money. It's been flipping off the press and being upset that they're there, yet they sit on their porch taunting them throughout the day. It it seems very odd behavior from just a general standpoint. From a psychological standpoint, what have you made of any of that? You know what? Not much. And here's why. I think there's a couple of things that might be going on. Mm -hmm. And the first one is that she didn't kill anybody, at least as far as we know. Yeah. She didn't kill anybody. So why should she have remorse? Her entire life has been upended. So why? I think anybody in that position, if you legitimately did not know, now we can talk about that. That's for another time. But if you legitimately did not know that your partner was engaging in the heinous acts, and the police came in and completely upended your life, I'd be upset too. I'd be upset with him, and I'd be upset with law enforcement. I'm not really going to care about some nebulous person, some you know, uh, technically no-named person that I never interacted with. So I think I probably might be a little bit self-centered. But that's the other thing too, yeah. is that it's potentially that she's always been this way, that her personality has always been such of... I'm going to completely ignore everything else that's going around me. And that might have drawn Rex towards her and kept that relationship going because she was never going to be someone who would ask questions. She was never going to be someone who would be challenging to his authority. So it's certainly possible that there's some underlying personality characteristics in which she's not able to fully connect with significant consequences of hers and loved ones behaviors that she's just so self-centered as to may potentially be cold. Which would actually make a lot of sense if you were going to be with Rex for the decades that she was. There's a lot of questions there as to how would she have absolutely no idea, at least that her husband was seeing sex workers, maybe not aware that he was murdering anyone, but there, there seems to be a lot that, that kind of points to willful ignorance at best. Maybe some sort of an agreement that, you know, he's going to do his thing and it's okay. It, he, they're making a lot of money. By all accounts that we've looked at, it's estimated that they're worth about 5 to $7 million and also have property in multiple states. So they're not, as far as we know, poor people. Would that play a factor in someone digging their head in the sand or staying with someone who may be engaging in nefarious behavior, again, not aware of murder, but to keep taking in the money, keep going on the trips like she was going on to Comic-Con festivals and things of that nature. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you have a ton, especially nowadays, uh, if you have money and you don't have to worry, and if something threatens that, you're probably going to close ranks because no one wants to lose money. Like, no one wants to be poor. Uh, yeah, I think there's always if there's an if there's an incentive and it's financial, more than likely someone's going to do what they need to do in order to prevent that financial incentive from going away. Uh, an attorney for some of the victims, John Ray, has made some rather large statements on News Nation. He's made it here on this show, talking about the GoFundMe that she's running right now, or that was started for her, but she's been obviously also promoting that it's out there, trying to raise money, saying her insurance is going to be up shortly. She has cancer, allegedly, and that they need money. Again, from all accounts, there does appear to be some wealth there. May not look like it on the surface by looking at their home, but it does appear to be. Is is that a valid point of concern for an attorney, for anyone, really, of if you already have some wealth and now you're asking for money from the public in a GoFundMe 
yes, you just face tragedy, but is money appropriate for something like that? I think so, because number one, we don't know what she actually has access to. Sure. It's certainly possible that police or even him, even Rex, have made it so that she doesn't have access to any of that money. And that money that they have is going to be going to his defense attorney because whoever takes this case, it, their fee is going to be huge. Yeah. And that money is going to dry up real quick because there's no new money coming in. So, yes, I can envision some people putting together a GoFundMe so that they can start getting at least money because we don't know we don't know what she actually has access to. This is an examination of the hidden human condition. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi.